Moving and on. guess who Jazz was with? Ray's ex, Lanasia. Oh, wow. They ain't even know they had the tea room in this. It's not the actual tea room, but they ain't know they had the shade room, tea room behind the camera in here, uh, spotting them out and shit. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. I had a lot of you guys spam me to react to the Tea Rooms video today. And judging by the title, I can see why. So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All of that, tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey still a hoe. Let's get right into the video. Y'all already know I have been posting on this channel, but I've been posting every single day on my other channel. If y'all do want to tap in, the channel is called True to the Game. It is catered more towards guys helping guys get some poo nanny, okay? Because it's a lot of weak ass niggas out here that need to be put up on game, real game, all right? But anyway. Go ahead and get into the video. Let's see exactly what's going on, man. So recently, I reported that Amar and Maya have broken up. And yep. Maya went on to TikTok Live and was heartbroken. Mm. She was practically in tears. Mm. I just feel like it's just not fair. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Her eyes is watery as hell. Mm. You miss your boo. It's not fair to, like... I can see the little snot coming down her nose and shit, too. People can just go on with their life just knowing that you just... <sighs> If you guys want to check out that full <laughs> video, I will have it linked at the top. Hey, these people bold as hell to be coming on the camera and spilling their feelings. I feel it though, man. Like I said, for a lot of these influencers and a lot of people in general, you know, even regular degular people out here, social media is a way to vent when a lot of the times we should go pay somebody to go vent like a therapist type shit or something like that somebody who's going to be unbiased because when you come to the internet people can always bring up that shit people have a chance to talk down people have a chance to destroy you when you're already at rock bottom so that is something to think about you know here now thing is like she stated some people just moved on with their lives and that's exactly like that. what Amar did <laughs> now someone on TikTok <laughs> caught glimpse of Amar out with the new girl oh, shit. and Jazz was there as well look that nigga been fucking around you feel me he ain't worried about no goddamn Maya man but once again I don't respect any dude who goes out and runs behind his chick's back to do something with another female if you gotta cheat on your chick you have zero game fam you know, and that's what's really messed up is a lot of these guys out here that think think that they are so P and so player and all of these things. Right. But you can't even be upfront and honest about your chick. You can't let her know that I don't want just Rocky Road, even though I love your Rocky Road. I also want strawberry. I also want van vanilla bean. I also like butter pecan from time to time. So you're not going to be the only one. But when me and you are together, that's going to be that. We're going to vibe. We're going to have a great time. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel like you're the only one type shit. Niggas cannot be upfront and honest. And that's the issue. And that's what causes these women out here to not trust guys. Because we have these toxic ass, no game having ass niggas, bro. Who cannot be honest. So, I'm going to just say that. I don't know their situation. I did not watch their whole 40-minute video yet. Maybe I never will. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care enough. But, y'all know what I mean. If he did fuck around, then, come on, man. Y'all got to do better, bro. Oh, what, what are we and doing? And guess who Jazz was with? Ray's ex, Lanasia. <laughs> she said, guess who Jazz was with? Not Lanasia. Really? <laughs> I feel like this is a, a spot that a lot of these Houston influencers be going to. Right or wrong, y'all? What is called? Amar and Jazz. Oh, wow. They ain't even know they had the tea room in this bitch. Not the actual tea room, but they ain't know they had uh, motherfucking um, the shade room, tea room behind the camera in here uh, spotting them out and shit. Y'all, what the fuck Amar and Jazz? What Amar got a whole different... He is. He got a whole different the same Zoom in for us, man. Come on, really get the school. The same place that he brought the X to, bro. I mean, why would he bring her to another spot? 
<laughs> that don't make no sense. If you date one chick, you take her to that spot. You date another chick, you take her to the spot. Like, she, he's supposed to switch spots for bitches? Same place that he, the same place that he brought the ex to, bro. That he broke up with. The girl right there this is, small is a mom girl. And then Jess is with the girl right there. What the fuck? Like, this is so messy, bro. Uh. So now the girl that's actually sitting next to Jazz is said to be Ray's ex, Lanasia, which is just a complete... I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that unless Jazz and, and, and Ray are cool. If Jazz and Ray are cool and Jazz didn't run it by Ray, then, you know, maybe that might be an issue. That's the only thing that I can say. Jazz is said to be Ray's ex, Lanasia, which is just a completely different story in itself. But let's jump back on to Jazz and Amar dating these girls. Now, it appears that the girls may actually know each other. They were interacting. And Jazz and Amar are good for dating friends. I mean, they are both single, but Amar didn't waste any time finding a new girl. And Jazz is dating Ray's ex. <laughs> now, how is that going to work? It's a small world, buddy. Work. But you guys leave your... I'm going to just say this. Amar was probably really not even into it in the beginning. And even if he was into it, because I had seen some comments, too, saying that Maya, Maya was using Amar. So y'all got to let me know, because I really am not in the mix as far as what happened with them and what goes on with them. But I had seen some comments saying that Maya had been using Amar. Amar was buying her shit all the time and stuff like that. So a lot of you guys did think that Maya was just using Amar. And now she's sad because she's losing the bag that was attached to Amar. So y'all have to let me know in the comment section down below, man. You know, um, a lot of you guys were saying, well, shit, Amar is now just doing him because... You know, he was tired of what he was going through with Maya. So y'all have to let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I don't really have any information on that. But like I said, with the whole Ray and Jazz and Lanasia situation right there, y'all got to let me know what y'all think on that too. Only issue that I would have with this is if Jazz and Ray are cool and Jazz didn't run it by Ray. All right, that's the only thing that I can see. And also, do we really know if... It was that type of interaction. We don't really know that. Yes, it's two and two. It looks like a double date type shit. But we don't even know if they were on that type of time either. We don't see no hugging. We don't see no kissing. We don't see no caressing. So is it possible that they are just cool? Yeah, that's possible too. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. It definitely is. Um, it's interesting though. You know, it's interesting. Opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Halle Bailey and DDG. Now Media Takeout reported a few days ago that DDG and Halle called it quits. Now I think this is cap, but they stated that a friend of the couple actually stated that the romantic relationship was over because DDG wasn't prepared to be a father. What? Now, Hallie went on to Snapchat and she was... That don't even sound right, dog. I ain't gonna lie. DDG is having the most fun with this little kid, man. <laughs> very emotional about some of the things that fun. have been said on social media. She spoke about she's still dealing with postpartum and social media is just making things worse by some of the things that she's seen about her and her family. And we could just go ahead and X out a friend of the couple because a true friend would not air anybody's business out to a, a, a media website or a, a social media platform so friend is not even it hey guys it's Hallie so I have officially made it to Virginia my new workplace for the next couple of months um, for those of you who don't know I booked a movie out here and I'm starting filming and I'm really excited about it and I'm really grateful all right I'm not gonna watch Hallie talk about her new project shout out to you congratulations you know what I'm saying I hope everything goes well Look, man, what y'all think about Holly and DDG? Like I said, man, any true friend wouldn't a true friend of the couple would not be going to media the media to air out certain business if that was true. Do I believe it's true? No. And the reason why I say that is because this man DDG has had the most fun trolling us with that damn baby. Okay? 
that sounds crazy, that damn baby. The the child, okay? The, the son, the beautiful baby boy, all right? Let me not say the damn baby. That sounds crazy. It seems to me as if DDG is happy as fuck to have that kid, bro. It's like he's been waiting all his life to do the things that he's been doing with his son. So to me, this sounds crazy. Could it be true? Yes. But could it be some made up shit by a media outlet who just wants to get some buzz? That could be it as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure that you do like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.